My name is Gail Rice and my brother, Bruce Vanderjet, was a Denver police officer who was murdered 22 years ago. These women share a bond. We are all sisters. They wish they never had. Hello, my name is Alice Randolph, and I'm here today representing my son, Lauren Collins. My name is Arliss Keller, and one of my brothers, Dwight Tobin, was murdered um, 10 years ago, just before this past Thanksgiving. Uh, my name is uh, Linda Burks Brown, and uh, my brother, Willie Frazier, was uh, murdered um, in 2005. They are all survivors who came out to support the report released by ACLU Colorado today, calling for an end to the death penalty. My, my greatest motivation, I think, is the violation of my Christian faith. It does not help people um, come to terms with the murder. And when you're looking at an appeal and it's coming up, you do have to relive it. Trauma to the victim's families is a big threat in this report, a report refuted by District Attorney George Brockler. One, I think that's only a handful of victims. That doesn't take into consideration all the other victims who want to see death for the cold-blooded murderer of their loved one. When you set the bar artificially low at life without parole, you take away the justice aspect for the worst of the worst offenders. And there is no way in which the death penalty is any way um, restorative. The ACLU argues that the death penalty is not a deterrent. That is the worst type of, of punishment that anyone can have because your life is not yours any longer. There are a significant number of huge cases that do not go to trial because the defendants plead guilty and get life without parole to avoid death. A debate that will be had at the Capitol, a bond between women that will never be broken. Our bond is strong because we understand what we've gone through 